Welcome to KSIS Academy. And now let's get into the daily news headline analysis of 23rd August 2021. 387 Mopla Martyrs to be removed from dictionary. A three member panel which reviewed the entries in the fifth volume of the dictionary, which was quoted by Indian Council of Historical Research, recommended to delete Malabar rebellion leaders William Kunnat Muhammad Ahaji, Ali Muzalia, and 387 other Mopla Martyrs. The panel felt that the 1921 rebellion was never a part of independence struggle and it was just a fundamentalist movement focused on religious conversions. It noted that none of the slogans raised by the writers were in favor of nationalism or anti rebellion The review panel is said to have reviewed that the rebellion as a attempt to establish content. So, a three-member panel, ICH Dictionary, dictionary the fifth volume the review chase panel. The review chase and Lona Mofla leaders like Varyam Kunat, uh, Kohanamed Haji, Ali Muzalia, and 387 other Mofla martyrs in PCM and recommend Chesaru. While a Prakaram in 1921 rebel in Nainidi, it was never a part of independence struggle and it was just a fundamentalist movement which is focused on religious conversions. Uh, writers raised his name slogans, Kani. It was never in favor of nationalism or anti British. Uh, panel Prakaram, a rebellion, it's just an attempt to establish a caliphate. It concluded that Haji was a writer who established Sharia code and beheaded many Hindus. Many Mufla martyrs died due to natural causes and they could not be treated as martyrs, only a handful were executed by the government. Kuntamani martyrs, Kuntamani Mufla leaders, Matrami government executed. They were the natural causes. So, they were the martyrs. India signs a deal for 70,000 uh, assault rifles. India has signed a deal with Russia for 70,000 AK-203 assault rifles to be procured off the shelf. So India and Russia, 70,000 AK-203 results for some like, uh, deal signed just Punaru. So the countries have signed intergovernmental agreement in February 2019, following which a joint venture between Ordnance Factor Board from the Indian side and Rosoboron Exports Kalash, Kalashiko from the Russian side, Russian side. So, Indo Russian Rifle Private Limited was set up in Korva in Uttar Pradesh for manufacturing the rifle. So, Indo Russian Rifle Private Limited and Nidhi, Uttar Pradesh from the Korva region were established Jason, in order to manufacture the rifles. So, Army Chief Executive Officer and uh, Army of Major General Chief Executive Officer ga appoint Jason, IRRTLK in order to ensure timely execution and delivery. 2015, lo, India and Russia had concluded an intergovernmental agreement for at least 200 KA-2260 helicopters, twin-engine utility helicopters, estimated to cost over $1 billion. Malpa war games to begin on Thursday. So the Quad countries, namely India, US, Australia, and Japan, will carry out its next, next edition of Malbar naval exercises from August 26 to 29 off the coast of Guam. So the exercise is taking place in order to uh, proclaim convergence of interests in the uh, maritime domain as well as military cooperation among the Quad nations. Adopt ISRO protocol to track stubble burning. The Commission for Air Quality Management in the National Capital Region and adjoining areas has directed Delhi and its neighboring states to adopt and implement a standard protocol which has been developed by the Indian Space Research Organization. The air quality management in the Delhi and adjoining areas low. Um, has directed Delhi and its neighboring states to adopt and implement standard protocol which has been developed by Indian Space Research Organization. It is based on remote sensing technology for monitoring data and fire incidents related to paddy residue burning. It puts states data on a organizing of cohesive manual of collectors. The commission has also developed a broad framework which has looked at the issues such as in suit management and crop diversification. States could have the own frameworks developed Cheskuna in order to manage stubble burning and uh, each state adopted a commission's framework to meet local needs including individual states topography, local enforcement, mechanisms, policies, already in place etc.
Analog flows in purse strings. Output foreign remittances bounced back in financial year 2020. So the outflow of foreign exchange under the liberalized remittance scheme of the Reserve Bank of India has bounced back in the first quarter. So a liberalized remittance scheme can be uh, in all resident individuals minus the Saha can freely remit up to $25,000 for financial year that is from April to March and it can be transacted to capital or current account or combination of both. RBI liberalized remittance uh, scheme can be it does not allow India for margins or margin calls to overseas exchanges or overseas counterparty for purchase of uh, foreign currency convertible bonds issued by Indian companies in the overseas secondary market and also trading to foreign exchange abroad is also banned. Why are oil and gas uh, companies exploring green energy options? India is targeting 450 gigawatts, 450 gigawatts of installed renewable energy capacity by 2030, up from about 100 gigawatts currently. Global move to reduce carbon emissions to slow down climate change have led to oil and gas companies around the world to investing in renewable energy to reduce their carbon footprint and diversify their operations. So, carbon footprint, what is carbon footprint? A particular organization or individual, wala, the amount of carbon dioxide that is being released into the atmosphere is known as carbon footprint. So, India 2030 low to 450 gigawatts of installed renewable energy capacity in Rita Wala and Rajas. And uh, when a currently installed renewable capa energy capacity is 100 gigawatts. So, in order to help government reach its ambitious goals, oil and gas companies around the world put a renewable energy use to, uh, renewable energy use to, so the carbon footprint that can challenge instrument. So, state-owned upstream and downstream oil gas companies are also taking part in energy investments to help achieve the government's ambitious renewable energy targets. So, the ONGC is targeting 10 gigawatts of renewable energy by the end of 2040. And Gail is also looking at acquisitions to augment its 130 megawatts renewable portfolio and also trying to reach 1 gigawatt of renewable capacity in 3 to 4 years. Downstream players have also started investing in renewable energy and electric and charging infrastructure with an ion potential shift towards, towards electric mobility. So Indian Oil Corporation Limited already 233 megawatts of renewable energy in installed in India at the end of financial year 2021. So, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited has tied up with Tata Power to set up electric vehicle charging at various retail points around the country. It has also set up about 133 megawatts of renewable energy capacity, including about 100 megawatts of wind energy capacity. Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited had installed renewable energy capacity of 43 megawatts at the end of financial year. So, what is renewable energy? Renewable energy is not is derived from natural resources like solar, wind, hydro, geothermal, etc. And these are all environment friendly. Thank you.